2020. My family will not pass away with 2020. My husband, my wife will not pass away with 2020. In the mighty name of Jesus. Malika Brado Saturina Zandala Bashunda. Eka Brada Kalada Bashanda Radaba. Eka Brando Saturina Zanda Kalima Zandabra Kala Bayanka Branda Saturina Zanda. Oh, thank you, Father. Pray, I will see the end of 2020. 2020 will not see my end. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Thanks, you are welcome to another session of Miracles in the Air. I know today that God is set to do you good. Because your arrival will break barriers. Shall we pray? Glory be to God in the highest. Amen. Glory be to God in the highest. Amen. For his mercies and your forever. Amen. For his mercies and your forever. Amen. Our Father in heaven, we want to thank you. Thank you for sparing our life to see another beautiful day. Thank you for your love towards Nigeria. Thank you for mercy we enjoy. Father, thank you because we know for sure it's you that has spared our life to see this day. Receive all glory in the mighty name of Jesus. In this session of miracles in the air, Father, let there be signs. Let there be wonders. Let there be healings. Let there be deliverance. Let there be salvation of soul. Let there be blessing. And let there be testimony. Let everybody under the sound of my voice re return with evidence. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Yeah. Once again, you are welcome to another session of Miracles in the Air. And your arrival will break barriers. I want you to lift up your voice and say, Father, let my arrival break barriers. Oh, yeah, pray. Leka brada sandara daga yaga braga daga yaka braga daga rede mo sanda braga da. Father, let my arrival break barriers. Break barriers. In my family, in my home, in my ministry. Any kind of barrier attached to my destiny. Let them be destroyed by fire, by thunder. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 1 to 11. 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 1 to 11, verse 32. Then verse 45 to 51, we want to see the arrival of David at the battlefront. In 1 Samuel chapter 17, he said, Now the Philistines gathered together their armies to battle, and were gathered together as Sechon, which belonged to Judah, and pit between Sochon and Ezekiel in Ephidim. And Saul and the men of Israel were gathered together, and picked by the valley of Elah, and set the battle in array against the Philistines. And the Philistines stood on a mountain on the one side, and Israel stood on a mountain on the other side, and there was valley between them. And there went out a champion out of the camp of the Philistines named Goliath. Today, your Goliath will fall. Goliath of God, whose height was six cubits, and a span, and he had an helmet of brass upon his head, and he was armed with a coat of nail, and the weight of the coat was five thousand seconds of brass, and he had grief of brass upon his leg, and a target of brass between his shoulder, and the staff of, of a spear was like a wafer beam, and his staff head weight. 600 seconds of iron, and one bearing a shield went before him. And he stood and cried unto the armies of Israel, and said unto them, Why are you come 
how to set your battery in array. Am I, am not I a Philistine? And ye servant of Saul, servant to Saul, choose you a man for you, and let him come to me. If he be able to fight with me and to kill me, then we will be your servant. But if I prevail against you, your enemy will not prevail against you. But if I prevail against him and kill him, then it shall be our you shall be our servant and serve us. You will not serve your enemies. And the Philistine said, I defy the army of Israel this day. Give me a man that may fight, we may fight together. When Saul and all Israel heard those words of the Philistine, they were dismayed and greatly afraid. And David in verse 32, and David said to Saul, verse 32, let no man's heart fail because of him. Thy servant will go and fight the Philistine. Then verse 45 to 51, then said the then said David to the Philistine, Thou come to me with a sword, and with a spear, and with a sheep. But I come to thee in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the army of Israel, whom thou hast defied. This day the Lord will deliver you into my hand. The Lord will deliver our enemy into our hands today. And I will smite thee and take thy head from thee. And I will give thy carcasses of the host of the Philistine this day unto the fowls of the air and to the wild beasts of the earth. And all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel and there is a God in Nigeria. Yeah. And there is a God in the Kitty State. Yeah. And all the assembly shall know that the Lord saveth none with sword and spear. For the battle is the Lord's. And it will give you, it will give our enemy to our hands. And it came to pass when the Philistine arose and drew near to meet David, that David hasted and ran towards the army of, uh, to meet the Philistine. And David put his hand in his bag and took thence a stone and snagged it and smote the Philistine in his forehead. That the stone sunk into his forehead, he fell upon his face to the earth. And so David prevailed over the Philistine. You will prevail over your enemies. He prevailed over the Philistine with a sling and with a stone and smote this Philistine and slew him. But there was no sword in the hand of David. Therefore David ran and stood upon the Philistine and took a sword and drew it out of the shelf thereof and slew him. Today your enemy's head is off. Yeah. And cut off his head therewith. And when the Philistines saw that their champion was dead, they fled. Your enemy will run. So the Almighty God created us in his own very image and he created us in his likeness that we should be highly successful. God wants us to be successful. You must remember that. Genesis chapter 1, verse 26 to 28. Genesis chapter 1, verse 26 to 28. And God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion. To have dominion is to be successful. Over the fowl of the fish and the, the, the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and all over the earth and over every creeper thing that creeped upon the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created in him, male and female created them. And God blessed them. You are blessed. And God said unto them, be fruitful, you will be fruitful. Yeah. And multiply, you will multiply. Yeah. Replenish the earth, you will replenish the earth. Yeah. You will subdue the earth. Yeah. You will have dominion over everything God created. But the devil wants us, he wants to put us under. And that's why the devil always put a fight against us. You know, the Philistine came against the Israelites. So, the devil always wants to put a fight against our breakthrough, against our success, against our peace, against our progress. He wants to make life difficult for us. Therefore, the devil will always bring barriers across our path. And until those barriers are destroyed, we can't reach our goal. But that barrier will be destroyed today. And you will reach your goal. 
without the removal of those barriers, you may not enjoy the best thing that God has planned for you. What is barrier? What is barrier? It is something that prevents, something that prevents or block movement from one place to the other. Maybe something that block your breakthrough, that block your promotion, that hinder your success, your joy and peace. Those things are called barrier. Barrier is also a law, rule, problem that makes something difficult or impossible. It is also a limitation, barricade, fence, hedge. To arrive means to come. To come to or to reach a place. You will risk your promised land. Amen. To arrive means to appear. To arrive means to show up. Because when David showed up in that battleground, Goliath knew that somebody has entered. So, it means to, uh, advent, appearance, coming or incoming. So, from our text in that first Samuel chapter 17, Particularly verse 16. First Samuel 17 verse 16. The Philistine called Goliath has been terrorizing the Israelites for 40 days and 40 nights. I don't know how long your enemy has been terrorizing your destiny. Today, God will deal with them. Amen. Hear this. King Saul and his host of army got to the battle front earlier. They got there first. But David came last and took the victory. So you will take the victory. His arrival break record, his arrival break barriers, his arrival silence the enemy. Your arrival will silence your opposition. It will silence your oppressor. It will silence your enemies. In the mighty name of Jesus, that oppressor in your family, in your community, and in your nation will bow because your arrival will destroy every barrier in the mighty name of Jesus. Now let me talk a little bit about some categories of people in the world. Number one, there are those who create problems anywhere they are. There are people we know, they are noted for creating problems. Maybe at their workplace, at their office, and in their house, or in the family, they just keep on creating problems. Number two, there are those who remain a liability and burden to their generation. As a young Christian, when I knew the call of God was up upon, upon my life, I told God, I don't want to become a body to my family, a body to the church of God, a body to anybody. There are people that have liability and body to their family. You will never become a liability to your nation. There are people who serve as a parasite. In biology, there is what we call parasite. A parasite is something that eats, eats on the host that does not contribute. There are some people like that. They will keep on taking from you, withdraw from you, without any, adding any value to your life. God will deal with them today. Amen. So there are, they always remove from others, not contributing to success or progress or breakthrough of that person. Such people must be deleted from your life. And today, God will delete them from your life. Amen. There are those who come into your life and you want to cause the day you come into contact with them. God will separate you from those kind of people. Amen. There are those people, there are some people that always bring bad news to you every time. They always bring bad They don't have anything called good news. God will separate you from them. Amen. There are those who, whose association with them we have negative influence on you. You must disassociate yourself from them because the Bible says that evil communication corrupts good manners. Number seven, there are lifter, lifter and ladder to climb to get to the top. May you meet such people in the mighty name of Jesus. People that will lift you up, that will serve as a ladder for you to get to your destination. May God connect you to them in the name of Jesus. Source was the case of Mordecai and Esther. It was uh, Mordecai that God used to connect Esther to her throne. God will raise a Mordecai for you. Amen. There are those who create history for others to read. There are those who are, uh, who are agents of good news. Source was Aja Gabriel. He always brings good news. May you come into contact with people that will bring you good news always. And the greatest good news is that Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. 
you will receive good news before the end of this year. Yeah. And there are those people who help others to discover their root, to discover their purpose, to discover their destiny, to discover why they are here. They are referred to as Pathfinder of Destiny. Pathfinder of Destiny. May you connect them in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Number 11, there are those who arrive and put an end to any kind of embarrassment and frustration in somebody's life. That's what David stands for. He came into the battle and put an end to 40 days, 40 nights of the Philistines terrorizing the Israelites. May you have that person in your life. May David rise up for your family, for your generation. And there are those who arrive and put smile and laughter into people's life. May God connect you to them. There are those who create room for others people's life to shine brighter and brighter and brighter. May God lift you, may God connect you to people that will make your life to shine brighter and shine better. In the mighty name of Jesus. Do you know there are people, there are some people who are called solution provider. Such was the case of Joseph. Joseph in Genesis chapter 41 verse 15 to 36. Genesis 41 verse 15 to 36. It was a dream interpreter. In Genesis chapter 41, verse 9 to verse, 40, uh, verse 9 to 14. Genesis 41, verse 9 to 14. Then spake the chief butler unto Pharaoh, saying, I do remember my fault this day. I remember my fault this day. Pharaoh was wrought with his servant and put me in the inward in the captain of the guard house. Both me and the chief baker. And we dream a dream one night, and I and he, we dreamt each man according to the interpretation of his dream. Verse 12, and there was there with us a young man, an Hebrew servant of the captain of the guard. And we told him, and he interpreted to us our dreams. To so each man according to his dream did he interpret, and it came to pass, as interpreted to us, so it was. Me, he restored unto my office and him in hand. And Pharaoh sent and called for Joseph. The, the four people that matters in the society, they will send for you to decorate you for honor. Then, send, then Pharaoh sent and called Joseph. And they brought him hastily out of the dungeon. You are coming out of any kind of dungeon in the mighty name of Jesus. And he shaved himself and changed his raiment and came unto Pharaoh. Number 15, there are those who arri whose arrival and value add color to other people's life. May you meet people that will add values to your life, that will add color to your life. And there are people whose arrival bring great joy to their city, to their family, to their nation, to their community. May you connect those people in the mighty name of Jesus. How do I know? Acts chapter 8, verse 5 to 8. Acts chapter 8, verse 5 to 8. Then Philip went down to the city of Samaria and preached Christ unto them. And the people with one accord gave it unto those things which Philip spake. Hearing and seeing the miracles which he did. For a clean spirit cried with a loud voice came out of many that were possessed with them. And many that were taken with pulses and they and that that were lame were healed. And the Bible says in verse 8, and there was great joy in that city. In your home, there will be great joy. In your marriage, there will be great joy. At your place of work, there will be great joy. There will be shout of victory before the end of this year in your family. So all said and done, your arrival will break barriers in the name of Jesus. When you look at the life of Jesus, looking at the life of Jesus throughout his ministry, he had his arrival always break record. His arrival always removes shame. His arrival always removes disgrace and oppression. Number one, his arrival break barriers of professional failure in the life of the man called Peter. So, Jesus coming to your life today, in your profession, it will break the barrier of success in the mighty name of Jesus. In that Luke chapter 5, verse 1 to 8, Luke chapter 5, verse 1 to 8, 
when Jesus arrived, situation changed. And it came to pass that as the people pressed upon him to hear the word of God, he stood by the lake Gennesaret and saw two sheep standing by the lake. I don't know why he chose Peter's boat. He is going to choose my, my boat. He will choose my boat. But the fishermen were gone out of them and were washing their neck. They were frustrated. They have already failed. But Jesus arrived. See what happened in verse 3. And he entered into one of the ships, which was Simon, and prayed him that he would thrust out a little from the land. And he sat down and taught the people out of the ship. Now when he had left speaking, he said unto Simon, Simon, launch out into the deep and let down your net for a drought. And Simon answered and said unto him, Master, we have toiled all the night and have taken nothing. Nevertheless, at thy word, I will let down the net. And when he had this done, they enclosed a great multitude of fishes and their net break. May God give you net breaking breakthroughs. Yeah. And they beckoned unto their partners, which were in the other ship, that they should come and help them. Miracle that will make you call your friend to come and take or to, to come and partake from it. May God release unto you in the name of Jesus. <laughs> the Bible said that they should come and help them. And they came and feed both the sheep so that they, they began to sink. Break through that will embarrass your enemy. That's what God is going to do in your life. Amen. When Simon Peter saw, saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knees, saying, Depart from me, for this miracle is too much. There is a miracle that is called too much miracle. That's what we are going to receive before the end of this year. Amen. He said, For I am a sinful man, O Lord. His arrival destroyed the spirit of poverty. In your life, in your family, in your business, in your career, the arrival of Jesus will destroy the spirit of poverty. Amen. How do I know? The Bible tells us in 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 9. 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 9. It says, For ye know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, hmm, yet for your sake he became what? Poor that ye through his poverty may become rich. So his arrival will destroy every kind of barrier, every poverty barrier in the mighty name of Jesus. The arrival of Jesus put an end to frustration and embarrassment in the life of the couple at the wedding of Cana of Galilee. You know, they invited Jesus. They invited mother of Jesus to this wedding. And suddenly their wine finished. And the mother of Jesus told the disciple, he said, whatever he said to you, do it. And he said, they lack wine. And Jesus said, my time has not come. And there is no meaningful son or daughter that want to disgrace his or her mother publicly. So Jesus asked the disciple to feed the water pot to the brink. And he did not even pray on it. That was the first miracle. And he asked them, Oya oh, yes, sir. And the Bible said that the wine was sweeter than every other one. And the governor said, Why have you reserved this to the last? There are miracles that God has reserved for the last moment of this year for you. It, they will locate you in the name of Jesus. His arrival put an end and break barrier of various kinds of sickness, infirmity, and disease. You remember the case of that woman with the issue of blood? In Mark chapter 5, Mark chapter 5, verse 25 to 34, she came, she touched the garment of Jesus, it was made whole. Today, as you touch the garment of Jesus by faith, you shall be made whole in the mighty name of Jesus. There was a man at the pool of Bethesda in John chapter 5, verse 1 to 9. John chapter 5, verse 1 to 9. The important man was there for 38 years. He said, I have no man. Jesus said, can I help you? He said, I have no man for 38 years. When the water is troubled before I get up to get there, somebody will have uh, gotten his miracle. Another person will not take your miracle. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Your place another will not take. Amen. And Jesus said to him, take up your rise up, take up your bed and walk. That was the end of that problem of that man. So the arrival of Jesus put a name to any embarrassment, to any kind of sickness. In any part of your body where you are sick, 
The arrival of Jesus here today will destroy all the sickness in the mighty name of Jesus. In John chapter 9, John chapter 9, verse 1 to 4, you remember that man that was born blind, and Jesus came. As, and as Jesus passed by, he saw a man which was born. Maybe your problem was from your place of blood, or even when you were conceived. The arrival of Jesus will destroy that barrier in the mighty name of Jesus. He was born blind from his birth, and his disciple asked him, Master, who did sin, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Jesus answered, Neither this man has sin nor his parents, but that the work of God should be made manifest. In your life today, the work of God will be made manifest. I said the work of God will be made manifest. You remember the story. The arrival of Jesus break the barrier of death. You won't die before your time. Amen. That barrier hanging over you and your family will not hold. Amen. All those who have been terrorizing by the spirit of sudden death, that barrier will not hold. Amen. How do I know? I hope you remember in Luke chapter 7. Luke chapter 7, verse 11 to 15. Luke 7, 11 to 15. Jesus' arrival at city called Nay put an end to uh, the death of that young man and he spake, the Bible said that he had compassion on that woman and said to him, young man, rise up so your miracle is locating you today Amen. you will not die on song Amen. you will not die on fulfill Amen. you remember also in John chapter 11, John chapter 11 verse 39 to 45 John 11, 39 to 45 they bury Lazarus. Four days, they have lost hope. Something is about to happen before the end of this year that will make people to celebrate with you. Yeah. That will make people to say, indeed, you are serving the living God. Yeah. Jesus uh, arrived at that place and he asked them to roll away the stone. Every stone blocking your progress, blocking your breakthrough, blocking your peace. Today, I command them to disappear. Yeah. In the mighty name of Jesus. And Jesus said, Lazarus, comfort. Your Lazarus will comfort. His arrival offered victory from sin. The arrival of Jesus offered victory from sin. How do I know? In Matthew chapter 1, verse 21. Matthew chapter 1, verse 21. The Bible said, She shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus. For he has saved his people from their sin. In 1 John chapter 1, 1 John chapter 1, verse 7 to 9, he said, But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship one another with one another. And the blood of Jesus, his son, cleanses us from all sin. And if we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive our sin and to cleanse us from every unrighteousness. So, friends, if you want the arrival of Jesus to put an end to any kind of barrier in your life, you must surrender your life to Jesus. You must surrender your life to Jesus. If you are there, you want to say, Jesus, here am I. I want you to put an end to every kind of barrier in my life. You can bow down your head right now as we are about to pray. You want to say, Jesus, here am I. I want you to put an end to every barrier in my life. You are the only one that can put an end to any kind of barrier in my life. Put an end to every kind of barrier in my life. I want you to bow down your head and pray to the Almighty God. And say, Lord Jesus, I come to you just as I am. I know I was born a sinner. I realize this, that I need a Savior. Jesus, Son of the living God, come into my life. Use your precious blood. To wash away my sin. Write my name in the book of life. Give me power to live a holy life. Thank you Jesus for saving my soul. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Now we are going to pray. You are ready to pray. Because this is where your miracles start now. You will pray. You say Father. Please destroy every visible and invisible parasite in my life. Destroy every feasible and invisible parasite in my life. Ragadaga yaga ragadaga 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 Every feasible and visible parasite in my life, Father, destroy them. 
every parasite in my fam in my family, every parasite in my body, invisible and visible parasite, Father, destroy them in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. You will pray. You say, Father, let my life break forth light it down and let my healing appear quickly let my life break forth light it down and let my healing appear let my healing and deliverance appear let my healing and deliverance appear in the mighty name of jesus in jesus mighty name we pray you will pray loud and clear say father let my arrival bring solution to people's problem Father, let my arrival bring solution to people's problem. Let my arrival bring solution to people's problem. Let my arrival bring solution to people's problem. Pray. Let my arrival bring solution to people's problem. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. You will pray. You say, Father, destroy every form of barrier to my healing, to my success, to my progress to my fruitfulness. Father, destroy every form of barrier to my fruitfulness, to my healing, to my success, to my progress. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. You, will, you pray, you say, Father, never allow me to be a body or the ability to anybody in the world. Don't let me become a body or the ability to my generation. I refuse to be a body to my generation. I refuse to be a liability to my generation. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will pray loud and clear. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. You say, Father, destroy every kind of feasible and invisible, physical and spiritual uh, barriers in my life. Destroy every kind of barriers, feasible and invisible, physical and spiritual, financial and material. Destroy them. Destroy them in my life. Destroy them in my life. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. You're going to lift up your voice and say, Father, let my arrival break barriers and eradicate joy to people's life. Let my arrival break barriers and eradicate joy to people's life. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Now if you are sick in your body, lay your hand upon that part of your body right now. The power of the Most High God will rise upon you. The Bible said that He set forth His word, He healed them and saved their life from destruction. I command every sickness, every oppression, every disease, every pain in that body disappear in the name of Jesus. Whatever that is ending the peace in your marriage, I command those forces of darkness to give way in the name of Jesus. I destroy every barrier to your progress, every barrier to your fruitfulness, every barrier to your success, every barrier to your financial harvest. In the mighty name of Jesus, I command every spirit of untimely death that is hanging over your body to disappear in the name of Jesus. I command that the power of the Most High God will envelop you right now, that your healing come fast now in the name of Jesus. Receive your deliverance. Receive your blessing. Receive your breakthrough. Receive your promotion letter. Receive that employment letter. Receive that contract award letter. Your arrival will break barriers. Your arrival will break barriers. Your arrival will break barriers. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you. See you next week as we start Divine Encounter Physically Live and Direct. Two sessions of Divine Encounter, 5.30 a.m. to 7 p.m. Seven session, 10 o'clock to 12 noon. The Almighty God will bless you as you join us at Divine Encounter next week. God bless you. Now you are here this morning. The Bible said we must not. Of prosperity, barrier, or poverty in your life. 
He will destroy every kind of barrier. Please let somebody give us a song. Then if you have not come to this altar and pray. Because that is the most important thing. Please do so. Yes.